Magic Mike XXL is Dude's Rock the movie. Uh, Magic Mike is an okay movie. It's very well shot. Uh, and all the dance scenes are great, but uh, it's got some real problems. Mainly that it stars as the love interest this uh, girl, Alex Horn, I think her name was, who was like the the daughter of some studio executive. She also had like a five season, five episode arc on The Office, and and it was just perfect studio nepotism. And she was such a zero. And the way you know that she was truly talentless is that even with her dad being a studio executive, she never got any other work. And so she was just... And Alex Pettifer played her brother, and they're just zero charisma losers. And it also has this like weird moralistic thing about like drug use. The sequel, which technically was not directed by Steven Soderbergh, although apparently he did all the cinematography, uh, is it removes everything bad and clunky about the first one. All the plot... It removes plot. It removes romant, like romantic uh, uh, drang, and it is a story of a... So the guy... So it starts... Magic Mark ends... Magic Mark. Magic Mike ends with Channing Tatum. He's like, I think I gotta be serious. I'm gonna go make wood. And it starts... He's broken up with the awful girl, thank God. And he's got his company. He's actually doing it. He's doing the thing that he always said he would in the first movie. He's making furniture. Uh, and But he still loves the rumba. He loves the dance. And there's a great scene where he's like drilling a table and he hears Pony and he just starts dancing. It's great, uh, but he gets he gets contacted by the old guys, and it's like, hey, we're going to this thing. You want to come to this stripper convention? And he's like, sure. And there are so many moments in this movie where they could have included bullshit plot complications and drama, like he has this company. Maybe the company's not sewing so good, and they needs to he needs money, and there's a cash prize that they have to win at the stripper convention. And maybe when they get to the stripper convention, they're evil strippers who they have to beat. Uh, Nope, it's just, let's go to the convention. Doesn't even show if they won or lost. Uh, and well, maybe they show if they won, but literally I don't remember because it was that unimportant. And then the whole movie itself is just guys being dudes in the best way. There's a whole scene where, uh, it's, it's one of the few movies uh, that's uh, like about the female gaze, in that there are extended sequences where men are just wildly objectified by women and they love it because they want to, make the women happy and uh, the stakes are non-existent which is dude's rock requirement because you have to be centered and you can't have outsized uh, investment in the world around you you got to be able to just abide uh, and then my favorite thing is so this is my absolute favorite thing about this movie so Channing Tatum hooks up with his old dancing partners and there's one guy there who gives him the business he's like looking at him kind of like mm, and the camera like follows him kind of giving him the eye and it's established, oh, this guy's got a problem with Channing Tatum. And that's exactly the kind of thing they set up so that, like, right before the big finale, like, they get betrayed by him, you know? Nope. One scene later, after he's been frosty to Channing Tatum and show, you know, not just for our benefit, but Channing Tatum's noticed too. He comes up to him and he goes, hey, buddy, you okay? You seem like you got a problem. And he says... I'm mad at you because you left when we were struggling. And he's like, I'm sorry, man, but you knew I wanted to do the stuff with the furniture. Uh, I love you guys. And he's like, I love you too. Squashed. Done. Never comes back. Relationship's good. It's men who are, who are secure in their, their sexuality, their masculinity, uh, their, their uh, worth as people. And they operate from, from like a pure purity of t intention. It's beautiful. It's the dude's, I'm glad someone asked that. It is the most dude's rock movie I'm aware of. Magic Mike XXL.